Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Michael of Planner Time with Michael. Thank you so much for joining me today. And in today's video, I'm gonna be planning in my big vertical layout happy planner that I use as my catch-all. And I'm gonna be planning for the week of July 25th through the 31st. I can't believe it's the last week in July, y'all. I can't believe it, the summer went by too quickly. Um, but before I start this, I wanted to show you something that I did. I posted this on Instagram, um, but I have this um, notebook from the Happy Planner, and it has the black paper in it. And so what I thought I would to do, what at the, blah, 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 easy for you to say, what I thought I would do is I wanted to start um, doing a little bit more drawing and being more creative and doodling and whatnot, and I love quotes, like positive quotes. So what I did is I went ahead and I made this. And this is all hand drawn. I mean, I used a ruler to draw the lines to make like the frames. Um, but these are all doodled. The inside of this, like these and these are stencils. Um, but the rest is hand drawn. It's doodled. I, you know, it's not perfect, but I really enjoyed doing this. I had a great time doing it. I like the color in the middle with the white um, in the back. And what I thought I would do is I may turn these into videos, like maybe do one each week where I have a different quote, a little, little, a different quote for the week. Um, but like I said, I really enjoyed doing this. So I think I'm gonna maybe add that to my video lineup. I'm not quite sure. But let me know in the comments what you think. But I encourage you to start drawing and doing stuff like this because it is so much fun. It's very relaxing. Okay, on to this spread. Of course, this is Shark Week, so I reprinted some of my Shark Week stickers that, that I used last year, and I kind of changed some of them. I tweaked them a little bit, and then instead of all yellow, I changed the color on some of them to blue. So I have these. I have this set and I have this set that I made. So I might as well start. I'm going to take this big sticker for the sidebar and I'm going to try and somewhat center it. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, there we go. That'll be a sticker for the sidebar. I can write down in that one. Um, I can keep like a running list of things to do or like a positive note to myself and maybe some quotes or, you know, I use that for whatever, whatever I'm feeling. And then I know I want to use this. I like to use these bigger box stickers for gratitude lists. So I'm thinking of putting that one down here in this bottom corner. I think it's, I'm gonna try and center it. Maybe like right there, should I white out? I'm gonna try and I'm gonna white out that, this black line so it doesn't show through. For this, I'll just use my white out tape. And voila. So I have that sticker there. I'll use that for gratitude. And then I might as well go ahead and I'm going to, I don't, obviously I don't have to redate it, but I like these colors. I like the yellow with the blue. So I'm going to just take all of these stickers and I'm going to put, I'm going to cover up the days of the week. I may... These are going to go over, but you know what? That's okay. But before I lay that down completely, I'm going to take the number 25 and see how that's going to fit. I'm just going to do this one, and then I will um, go off camera and do the rest, and then I will come back so that because I, I know people don't want to watch me. Probably shouldn't have done that. Probably makes it worse. People don't want to watch me. You know, they'll get bored. But I should cover this one. Let me cover that. Woo! Let me cover this one first. And then I can put that 
then I will know where to put this. Do I want to overlap? I think I want to overlap Monday on there. Like so. So I think I'm going to do that because really from here I can't even tell it's overlapped. Like I can't see it. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of those and I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and I redated it. Um, well, I use these for the dates, and I think it looks nice. I like the way it pops. So then, um, what I thought I would do is I made this kind of like this label for Shark Week. Um, well, I didn't make it, but I saw it and I copied it from online. Um, let's put this sticker right How would this sticker look if we put that one right there to signify that it's Shark Week? Um, and then I still have room to go around it with sharks and with boxes and stuff. Um, I feel like I need some yellow over here. So maybe like a to-do list. So maybe I could take this one, put this over here. I also kind of wanted to put some sharks around it. So let's see. Could put this one, but there's a shark right there. Um, what other sharks do I have? Since these two are going that way, maybe I want this hammerhead that's going that way. see if I can put this one like maybe something like this I want to cut this I don't like that white showing of the sticker there so that I can because I kind of want to overlap it a little bit so what if I put this guy right there and then I can put maybe a to-do list. I think this to-do list, I'm going to just try and center it right inside this box. So how does that work? So I have a to-do list there. Let's see what else do we want to do. I feel like I could use another shark maybe coming up this way. Um, so why don't we take this one. Well, why don't we take this shark. So what if we put this one right there. Oh, I like the way that looks with those two sharks there. Is this in camera? Okay, so I have that there. And then I can put like, I can put a little, I feel like I need a blue box. And I can always, I can put a box here. I don't think that looks too bad so far. And then what if I put this one, what if I take this guy, this hammerhead. Have you all been watching Shark Week on TV. I absolutely love Shark Week. Maybe he's following him. Okay, so I'm going to put, what if I put that one there? And then, what if I take this guy? Why not just put him... over there like so. We'll put him there. What if I take this blue one and why don't we put this one. I'm gonna put this guy up, er, up in here. Okay. 
So we will. So so far, I have a box to write in. Well, I have a to do list, um, and then I have these two boxes: one for Tuesday, one for Wednesday. I could put another box in here to write in, or I could just do um, the the thingamabobbers, the bullet points that I can write in there. Okay, so I have that there, and then I feel like I need a box here. What about like this one? Could put it here. I kind of, I don't know, I'd like him overlapping it, but I have that shark there. So what if we just put this box here? That'll be a box to write in for Thursday. Do I have another? I have a to buy list. So that one. So I could put that to buy there. And then What if I take this one what if I actually put him right there could put a shark come in here and put a box over in here I think I'm gonna put a blue box right in here and I could use one of these bigger ones and I can overlap it can put it there like so. Okay, let me get my white out there and Put this box down. Okay, so I have that box to write in there. Okay, what else, y'all? What else do we want to add in? Let's see, I got sharks everywhere, and I love it. Ooh, for the to do, I could actually put this. You know what? I'm going to put that one right there. Because that'll give me another to do. Let me get my white out. Okay. Usually each week I like to have, um, I usually use the stencil and draw the lines in, but for these I made the stickers. And usually I like to have two to three. Like I usually like to have two to-do lists and then one to buy list, which is what I did here. I feel like I need a box over in here and I feel like it needs to be yellow. So I could put, what about this one? Let's see, I think I wanna line it up kinda of like right with this line. Somewhat. What if we put, I know it's kind of crooked, but you know what? It's all right. Okay, what if we put that one there? That'll give me space to write. And then I feel like another shark. What if we use this one? And put him Like maybe maybe just right there. Yeah, why not? We'll put him there. Um, what about this one? What if I take this shark? And what if I put him so maybe he's swimming, you know, maybe he's turning and going this way. Okay, I think that's cool. I love it. Okay, and now what else? Um, I said a yellow box there, but it's kind of busy. I could just write in there. Needs something in here. How big is this shark? What, would this one fit? You stagger them so they're not all in the same. 
So I have that one there, and then, and I think I'm gonna leave it. Um, and as I write in it, I will decide if I'll put like bullets here, or if I'll just write on there without them, or put bullets in here. I think that's what I'm gonna do. So let's go ahead and let me get my planner and put it in my planner. I am gonna have to Franken plan. I'm gonna have to glue these two together because I used a blackout spread for the last spread that I did. And I'm doing a an after the pen video for this one so that you guys will be able to see as I write in it. But let's put this in here, see how it looks on the discs. And I did, I had to, of course, buy a shark, another charm, a shark for Shark Week. So I love that. So there we go. There's my completed spread for the week of the July 25th through July 31st. And again, I use this as my catch-all planner. So basically, anything can go in there. Um, I hope you like this video. I hope it gives you some inspiration on different ways you can um, use your or decorate inside your planner and use your planner. If you like this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It would really help me out. I'm trying to really grow my channel. So again, thank you so much for joining me. And I hope everybody has a fantastic week. Have a great day. Bye-bye.